So you want to brighten your image, but what happens is sometimes when you pull the slider to the right or when you when you want to brighten your image, what happens is there are certain parts of the image that become so bright that it loses the details, it clips. That's exactly what clipping is. Clipping is when certain parts of the image become so bright or so dark that there is no detail but white and black. But what if we tell Photoshop that don't brighten the areas that are already bright and brighten only those areas which are dark? How about that? Hey there, this is Anmesh and today we are going to learn how to increase the brightness of an image without overexposing it. Coming up. So let's jump straight into Photoshop. So this is an image that I clicked last year of the Marine Drive. Now there are some parts which are already white. As you can see, this part is already white, this part is already bright. So if I want to brighten the image and I don't want to touch the image, what do I have to do? Okay, let's look at it this way. What would I do if I normally had to brighten the image without, without any of the, those complex things? I would simply go to this adjustment layer, select brightness and contrast and increase the brightness. Maybe say I want brightness to be around 70-ish. Now, as if you look at the overall image, it looks good. But if you look at this area, it has become so bright that it has clipped. It's clipping which means that this has no details but it's completely white and it's losing details. Let me turn off this layer. It's losing details. It had a lot of lines and a lot of texture in it but it's losing it right now. So how do I tell Photoshop, okay, this area is already bright, don't affect it. Extremely simple. Let's turn this layer back on and let's right click and go to blending options. I just love this option. Now let's zoom in a little bit to the areas which are already bright. Let's zoom in in this area for a sample. And, and let's take the slider to the left a little bit. As you can see, Photoshop, it is deselecting the areas which are already bright. It's not letting the layer affect the areas which are already bright. So if I drag it more, it will stop affecting the areas which are already bright. As you can see the selection receding right receding from the bright areas i think that this value is good but as you can see the transition is not smooth enough the transition of the of the effect is not smooth enough yes it is not affecting the, affecting the white areas and yes it is affecting the dark areas but the transition of the effect as you can see is very harsh Let's see the transition is so harsh. We, we need to smoothen it up. So how do we do it? It's very simple. Press and hold alter option. If you're using a Mac, it's option. Press and hold that button and click on this slider. The slider divides into two parts and you can drag the parts apart to make it make the effect smooth. So according to you, how much effect do you want? to ding fit, yep. Let's zoom out and see how it's affecting the image. I want this, yep, yes. Let's click OK. Oh, let's click OK and we are good to go. Let's turn off this layer and turn on this layer. See, it's brightened the image without affecting the bright parts. We might not add this much brightness, but I showed it for demonstration purposes. So let's turn this knob down, uh, slider down. Let's make it, give it a 30 or 40-ish brightness and we are good to go. Let's turn this layer off, turn this layer on. As we can see how we have simply brightened the image without clipping out the brighter parts. So guys, that's all for today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, happy photoshopping and stay tuned.